The very best footballers have a wide ranging skills, but many of them have a particular trick associated with them, even after they retire. Here are the greatest signature moves in football history. Johan Cruyff, the Cruyff Turn Johan Cruyff is one of the best players of all time. When you picture him, you don't think of a particular goal or assist. His most famous on-field moment was a piece of skill out on the left wing. Cruyff was playing for the Netherlands against Sweden at the 1974 World Cup, he was facing his own goal and being tightly marked by a defender. It looked like there was no way out. However Cruyff had other ideas, he pretended he was about to pass the ball with his right foot but then suddenly dragged it behind his leg, completing a 180-degree turn. Cruyff was away and the defender Jan Olsen was left or dead. In 2016, Olsen said I still can, now when I see the video, every time I think I've got the ball. When he he was about to kick the ball, I'm sure I'm gonna take it. But every time he surprises me. Andres Iniesta, La Croqueta. Barcelona and Spain's extraordinary success in the late 2000s, and the early 2010s was dependent on two midfielders. Xavi Hernandez and Andres Iniesta. None of them was fast, strong, or powerful. But their technical quality and football intelligence, made them the best midfielder duos of all time. Xavi was the better passer, but Iniesta was a better dribbler. When he passed the ball from one foot to the other, and then accelerate into the space. As well as in tight areas. La Croqueta was fleshy, this skill move was then developed by Lionel Messi. Cristiano Ronaldo, the Ronaldo Chop. These days Cristiano Ronaldo was a central striker, with an incredible scoring ability. When he first broke through in the 2000s, he was a flying winger who dominated fullbacks with his speed and skill. His favorite move was the Ronaldo Chop. While dribbling in a straight line down the wing, Ronaldo would quickly change direction by leaping into the air and hitting the ball sideways, usually with the inside of his right foot. He might be a different player now, but the Ronaldo chop is still his key part. Just look at his fantastic assist for Edinson Cabani against Spurs. CR7 still got it. Zinedine Zidane, the roulette. Zidane was the most elegant footballer of his generation. When he was in his prime, there was nobody to stop him. Zidane's most famous move was the roulette, also known as the 360 turn. Approaching a defender he would drag the ball back with the studs of his right foot, spin his body round, and then drag the studs of his left foot over the ball. Zidane often used the roulette to get out of tight situations. Sometimes the skill allowed him to get past more than one opponent, at other times the roulette left defenders making clean air shots. Performing this trick at full speed while wearing football boots isn't as easy as Zidane made it look. Even Brazil the home of skills had no answer for it. Ronaldinho, the Elastico. Sergio Echigo, a Japanese footballer from the 60s invented the Elastico. But the Elastico is sometimes known as the flip-flap. It was perfected by the magician himself, Ronaldinho. The move is performed by pushing the ball with the outside of your foot. Then quickly pushing it the other way with the inside of the same foot. Ronaldinho used the Elastico to fool countless opponents. Elastico is the one he would always be remembered for. Ricardo Quaresma, the Trivela. In the time of Sporting Lisbon, their coach mentioned Ricardo Quaresma to be better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, now there is no comparison between them. Quaresma had a decent career though, and he was the most entertaining wingers to watch. His signature move was the Trivela. Quaresma scored some magical goals and provided some fantastic assists with the outside of his foot. Look at this stunner of the 2018 World Cup. And last but not the least, Antonin Peninka, the Peninka. These days we see so many Peninka every season. This trick was invented by Antonin Peninka. He first time used it in the 1976 Euros. He was going for the deciding penalty shootout. It was his chance to step up for his country. He was confident, because he practiced this trick a lot. And this was the perfect time to show it to the whole world. He took one of the best penalty of all time, the Peninka. I'll take a leave now, we will see you in the next part. Take care.